ta da <laughs> A nice herd of elephant. Isn't that great? Well, that one seems to be swaying his foot slightly. Her foot, sorry. I don't know why. a very very welcome surprise to see some elephant hold on I'm gonna get a nice view of them here for us there we go Seb is that okay yeah thank you Sammy Jane you were excited to see elephant well I am sharing in the excitement then too because I love elephant and I'm going to sit here quietly. Maybe these elephant move close to us. Let's see, let's see. Small little herd, those are just females and youngsters. <laughs> here comes another young one right here. Um, Mishka, now um, perhaps you were referring to this one that was standing in the road earlier. Now, this is a teenager, it's a youngish female, not a very big female, but hang on, look what we've got here. Here comes a beautiful big bull. Now, let's, nice. see, let's see how he reacts to us. Just gonna sit quietly. Oh, wonderful. I love seeing these big bulls. You can see he's much, much larger than those other elephants that just moved past us. Um, I still think he could probably get a bit bigger. He doesn't look too old, but he's probably in his 30s, I would say. Um, somewhere around there, mid-30s. Maybe a little bit older. He has got prominent indentations in his forehead. Some beautiful tusks. And those are all signs of age. So I would say maybe mid to late 30s, somewhere around there. It's quite difficult to, to age these animals, I suppose, at times. But I think that's probably how old he is. Oh, let's see. It would be wonderful if he decided to just walk up to us. I wonder where they're heading. Um, you know, the elephants, um, they do look for water during the day quite regularly, especially now in winter when it is very dry. So they could possibly be heading towards a dam at some point, maybe towards Biffles Hook Dam. We're not far from there. Oh, let's see which way he decides to go. Oh, we're just going to sit very still. Oh, he's beautiful. Magnificent bull. <laughs> That's awesome. Right behind us. Right, let me turn around for you, Seb, and make it a bit easier. <laughs> Otherwise, Seb's going to twist himself into a, into a pretzel, I think, <laughs> trying to turn around and film this, these ellies. Adele and Natalie, you asked how elephants react if one um, hurt the, uh, another one accidentally. Well, well, elephants do hurt or harm each other from time to time, and it's mainly the, um, the big bulls. They will fight one another. They will fight for um, basically for dominance, and they challenge one another. Um, and from time to time, and it has happened before, not actually not often, 
but I have seen it before where an elephant has killed another elephant. A big bull has killed another bull. And usually that doesn't happen. With the elephants, though, um, within the herd, they're actually quite, um, what's the word, they, um, they're tolerant of each other. Within a herd, it's usually a family group, so they don't normally harm one another. And they, there's a magpie shrike calling, I just heard that call of it now but as i was saying within the within a herd of elephant you may get ele elephant pushing one another around and challenging one another but it's, they generally don't harm each other the only time elephant really would harm each other from what i've seen is when big bulls get into fights um you may get maybe a, a female t t you know, being a little bit um protective of a herd if another herd arrives but generally not. The elephants aren't really aggressive towards each other unless it's big males. But they're very protective. The elephant, generally, if one gives a distress call, uh, then the rest of the herd do come back and they try and help them. So when, whenever there's a distress call from an elephant, the whole herd come together and they'll try and protect which whichever elephant is in potential danger. So they are very protective. Now we're going to leave this herd of elephants. Are they leaving us? They're moving away. We'll see if we can find more maybe. Let's head to Brent who's got another herd of wildebeest.